Hey guys, Ivan here, welcome to another video. In this video, we have a couple of very interesting topics. They are basically all regarding Arnold Classic 2023. So, as I'm sure all of you guys heard already, Arnold Classic has increased their price for the first place to $300,000, which is $100,000 less than Mr. Olympia. And so, expectedly, this did draw attention of some top guys, like, for example, Nick Walker, Nick Walker is now doing the Arnold Classic, he's a former champion and probably, right now, probably the favorite to win this show. You can not see him on this list right here, but also Andrew Jack decided to do this show. So who is going to win this show? Is it really gonna be Nick Walker? I'm not so sure, because guys, look, I mean, if you just look at the Mr. Olympia, and you know that Arnold Classic is just a couple of months after the Mr. Olympia, like uh, 10 weeks or something like that, 12 weeks after the Mr. Olympia, most likely these guys won't really make dramatic changes to their physiques. Some of them might, actually. I'm thinking Nick Walker and Samson Dauda have a really big potential to actually make serious changes until the Arnold Classic, and I think Andrew Jack is somebody who can peak much better. Also, William Bonac definitely did not bring his absolute best in terms of peak at the Mr. Olympia, and last year at the Arnold Classic and Boston Pro, he looked much, much better, so there is no guarantee that the same results from the Mr. Olympia will be here at the Arnold Classic. If you judge it by Mr. Olympia, it's going to be Nick Walker who is winning, Samson Dowler in second, then William Bonac, then it would probably be between Andrew Jack and Sean Clarida, and then you would have Justin Rodriguez, Kim Williams, Kamal Gardner, and the others, whoever else shows up. So this is the official list right now, plus, of course, Andrew Jack. Now, guys, look, I mean, Mr. Olympia was kind of always about the size, the freakiness, I mean, since Dorian Yates. Arnold Classic, it was a little bit different, you know, you have Arnold Schwarzenegger who really appreciates the classic physiques, so Arnold really pushed for Cedric McMillan to win that Arnold Classic that one year, he did not like Kai Green winning it, as you guys remember, he exposed him for his stomach, for his gut, when he told him to do that vacuum pose, which Kai, of course, can't do, so we all know, Arnold wants classic guys tall, classic-looking guys to win this show. He does not want guys like Nick Walker, who are freaks, who are mutants, you know, guys who are short, stubby, uh, really freaky, with those varicose veins as well, and just overall structure. Same thing would apply to Sean Clarita, because he's really short and really freaky for his frame. William Bonac would be in that category as well, though he did win the Arnold Classic, so did Nick Walker, and if we have final the addition of Derek Lansford, which I think is going to be the case, because Derek kind of said that he might do it if his coach, Hanne Rambert, is okay with that. If they agree on Derek doing the Iron Classic, then Derek will probably do it. So based on that, you can assume that Derek wants to do it. It's just Hanne who is not sure. But now, with the prize money increased... I'm pretty sure Derek is going to bite for it. So I think Derek is going to compete at the Arnold Classic and that would kind of mean that the top guys, many of the top guys, are short, big, freaky looking guys. I mean, Derek is really a static guy, but he's also short and really, really round, really big. And then you have the other two guys, which Arnold Schwarzenegger himself would prefer, guys like Samson Dauda and Andrew Jack. There was a lot of hype surrounding Andrew Jack last year after he won that Texas Pro and Arnold Classic UK. So many people thought that he might even win the Mr. Olympia or at least place in the top six. However, he didn't. He was, I believe, eight. And in my opinion, he should have placed higher. But regardless, I'm showing you his Texas Pro version, which I think is much better version of Andrew than Mr. Olympia or Arnold Classic UK. I think here he peaked much better. I think his conditioning was better. I think his oral presentation was as well. Uh, I think his conditioning could be better than here, but I think it was still pretty good. What he wasn't really good at was his hamstrings, I would say, and his glutes conditioning, and also his back could be bigger. So he is not perfect, but in some poses he looks really close to perfection. Now, I'm showing you this Texas Pro version again because it is his best version. And if he shows up something like this in terms of peak at the Arnold Classic, 
And you guys probably heard that he had bronchitis before the Mr. Olympia, so of course he wasn't at his best at that show. So if he improves a little bit, which I'm sure he can, because you already saw how much he improved from the Arnold Classic where he turned pro until the Texas Pro, which was in one year, guys, in like four months, he made a lot of progress. So I think if everything goes well for him in terms of health, I think he can actually make serious progress and come to the Mr. Olympia with a better back, with better conditioning and with a better peak overall. If he does that, and let's say Samson also makes progress, which I think is probably the most like, I think he's the, like the guy that has the biggest chance of actually making serious progress, because we saw so far how much progress was Samson actually able to make from competition to competition, you saw him last year, last year he was losing to guys like Rafael Brandau and Regan Grimes, then he was fourth at the Arnold Classic, and then at the Mr. Olympia, he was sixth, but he looked so much better, and guys, sixth, arguably, he could have been even higher, like, uh, he could have beaten Big Ramy, or maybe even Brandon Curry, uh, as far as beating Nick Walker, I don't think so, not last year, and last year, I mean, 2021, at the Arnold Classic, Nick Walker looked really freaky. But as you can see, Nick Walker is not exactly known for being the guy with the tightest, with the smallest waist. Uh, when he's posing, when he does his poses, he's really, he's really efficient at holding them really well and, you know, pulling the stomach in. So when he does the pose, you can't really see that stomach. But when he's relaxed a little bit in the transitions, you can see it. And Arnold is not somebody who is appreciating that. Now, when he won the Arnold Classic, his competition was Ian Wallier and Steve Kuklo. Ian Wallier was 11th, he was out of top 10 at 2022 Mr. Olympia, and Steve Kuklo and Jack kind of destroyed him at that Texas Pro last year, so I think that's why, I mean, he, Nick didn't really have much of a competition when he won his Arnold Classic, he was just way more superior than the other guys, so they just couldn't ignore him, and they could ignore his uh, let's say his blockiness, his lack of shape and symmetry and balance, uh, his poor structure, he doesn't have the prettiest structure, let's be honest guys, he is really freaky, like he's really muscular, he's really shredded, but he doesn't have the best, you know, the best shape, and at the Arnold Classic, shape is much appreciated, so once again, if Samson really brings beautiful, I mean, he's going to bring beautiful shape for sure, but if he brings good conditioning, and if he, if he improves a little, if he brings a little bit sharper glutes, for example, then I think Samson is like the front runner, and the same thing applies to Andrew Jack, if Andrew Jack brings a little bit bigger back, with a little bit better conditioning, I think he, him and Samson, in my opinion, should be that top two, but we'll see what's gonna happen. Oh yeah, we also have Patrick Moore, I mean, this guy is like, kind of like an aesthetic guy, so maybe in, in that sense, he should be in conversation, but I don't think so, I mean, based on this video, his most recent physique update, he looks like he made zero progress from 2019, where he placed 10th at the Mr. Olympia, and he's not really known for bringing the conditioning, he brought it that one year, and that was it, really, and as you can see right here, I think he digressed, I think he looks worse than he looked uh, four years ago, so... Uh, with his size and with uh, the way he's looking right now in this physique update, I don't think he's really in conversation for being like one of the top guys, I think he's going to be one of the last places, really. Oh, and yeah, as for now, we don't have any information about Sergio Oliva doing the Arnold Classic, he didn't say anything about competition as far as I know, but if you guys follow him on his IG, and if you watch that video with Larry Wills where he talks about uh, his, what he's doing currently, stuff like that, in that video with Larry, he said that he's eating crazy amounts of food, and that's why he needs to eat a lot of junk food, because that's the only way to get all of his calories in, because he needs to eat so much if he wants to grow, and it seems like, I mean, he moved to Dubai, and it seems like he really hasn't been wasting his time over there, it looks like he has been trying to grow, it looks like he has been focused on improving, because based on these couple of photos, we don't have really any proper physique update, but based on these couple of photos that he posted here and there, you can see that he's probably bigger than he ever was, so this might happen as well, I think Sergio Oliva might jump in, and if he does that, I mean, he's also like the taller guy with beautiful shape, and of course, he is the son of Arnold Schwarzenegger's biggest rival, and the former Mr. Olympia, I think three times in a row, Sergio Oliva Sr., so 
if he is in fact improved, which I think he is based on these photos, I think he is bigger and more conditioned, if he brings a little bit better package than before, then he can do some serious damage. Also, again, he's on the taller side, like he's a tall bodybuilder and he's really big. And yeah, he was beaten by Sean Clarita at that Legion Sport last year, but that wasn't the best version of Sergio. He was way off with his conditioning. He was not conditioned at all. And that was before he had this uh, really, I think, really productive year in Dubai before he added all this size. So now he's going to be bigger. And if he brings good conditioning, and if he improved his physique a little bit, and again, him being the taller, the classic looking guy, he might be in that mix with Samson and Andrew Jack, yeah. He fits well in that kind of lineup, and he is what Arnold Schwarzenegger is kind of looking for. However, if Phil Heath actually decides to jump in and do the Arnold Classic, which is a possibility, guys, 300 freaking thousand dollars is a lot of money, and based on the way Phil Heath is looking right now, it's quite possible that he might jump in. As you can see right here, Regan Grimes posted a photo of himself training with Phil Heath and saying, Phil Heath is looking huge, coming for that $300,000. So basically, Regan Grimes is telling us that Phil Heath is coming, he's doing the Arnold Classic. Now, he added this emoji so we can't be sure whether this is serious or not. I mean, most likely he's joking, but is it impossible, really? As you can see in the comment section, Honey Rambert says, giving Nick Power Guy content. Uh, meaning Nick Strength the Power, of course, uh, and he means that this is not real, that just uh, saying stuff like this and posting photos of Phil will just make, you know, uh, topics for videos, for YouTube, for channels like Nick's Strength and Powers or mine. And yeah, of course, Hani is right, but I don't know if, if Hani is like in, in, in contact with Phil Heath all the time. I don't think Hani really knows whether Phil Heath is going to be competing or not. But based on the way Phil is looking right now, it's completely possible. And if he decided to do it, I think he could win it. Look at this photo as well, the other one. In this one also, Phil looks huge. And I think if Phil was really retired, if he had no intentions of competing again, I think he would just downsize for health reasons. So why is he maintaining all this mass if he's not gonna compete? Now in the comment here also Phil says, great times with the Regan Grimes, blah, blah, blah. And he says, I'm very excited to see you grow and win some shows. So he doesn't say anything about him trying to win the Arnold Classic. But if you guys remember, Phil Heath never won the Arnold Classic. I mean, he won the Mr. Olympia seven times. Arnold Classic, never. He looked great, I think 2010, when he lost to Kai Green. So he never won the Arnold Classic, but maybe this is the year where he wins it. If he goes against Nick Walker and potentially Derek Lansford or Samson Dauda or Andrew Jack, can he beat these guys? I think it mainly depends on how his stomach is looking right now. If it looks worse than the last time he saw him on stage, then he probably won't win that show. But if it is better, and only he knows how good it, how good it is, because he never really shows it to us, he knows how good it is. If he is actually good, and he had that hernia surgery, if he actually got his stomach fixed, if he looks better now in that area, then he actually has a good chance of winning the Arnold Classic. Now, this post by Regan Grimes doesn't really mean a lot. I mean, him saying Phil Heath is coming for 300k doesn't really mean a lot. It could be a joke. It most likely is. But, you know, Phil looking like this right now, that I think, I think that tells us more than that Regan's comment. And whatever you guys think, tell me what you guys think if Phil decided to compete. If his prep started today at eight, seven, eight weeks out of Arnold Classic, how good could he look and could he win the Arnold Classic? And what do you guys think? Is he gonna do it? Whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And for more content like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.